Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're going to be going over the GoPro VR Reframe um, plug-in tool for Adobe Premiere Pro. Alright, here we go. Let's import the, the file in. Let's go ahead and uh, drag it into our timeline so we can start editing it. Go to the editing tab, go to the effects, and let's find the GoPro VR reframe tool. And we're going to drag it onto our video to apply it. Now if we go to the effects tab, you can now see the, the GoPro VR reframe effect controls on the left side. Rotate around and see the values change. Go ahead and just set up uh, some default values I'm going to be using. And let's go ahead and toggle the animation so we can have a, a keyframe at the very beginning of our video. As you can see, keyframes have been added. And what we're going to do is apply a pan um, while I walk up the stairs in this video. So we're gonna go ahead and make another keyframe here because this is where we're gonna start our animation. And let's go to the ending point. And once we get to our ending point, we're going to add a keyframe and adjust the camera to where we want it to be. So I'm just going to turn it around um, and face myself. So that way we can see that we do have an ending keyframe. It is set. So let's go ahead and go to the start and uh, watch it. So because we have a, a start frame and an end frame with the values changed, in the video, you'll slowly see the pan actually take place until it actually gets to the the end the end keyframe. So that's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and uh, try to do um, the little planet effect. That is pretty popular, so let's go ahead and start a keyframe um, while I got get up at the top of the stairs, and then we're gonna have that as a normal a normal view, and then while I'm doing while I'm walking through this crosswalk in the middle, we're gonna actually go to a little planet view, and then as I continue walking, when I get to the other side of the stairs we can go back to normal. So here I just added uh, the start keyframe. Which is just the start of the, the normal view. And then let's find a, a middle point of me crossing this little crosswalk area right here. Then once I find a, a good spot, we can go into and adjust the, the control values to be um, the little planet effect. So looks looks this looks pretty good right now. So let's go ahead and uh, adjust these values. So that way we have the, um, the little planet effect. We're going to change the, uh, the field of view. Rotate it around a little bit. Zoom a little bit back in. I think that looks pretty good. So now that we got our uh, frame set in place and we got the uh, control values where we want them, we're going to continue on and go towards 
the other side of the stairs. And as I'm about to walk down, we want the keyframe to go back to um, the normal view that we had while walking up the stairs. So let's go ahead and add a keyframe here. We're gonna change back to the, the normal view that we originally had. So we're gonna apply that. Uh, we can adjust it slightly. Yeah, that looks good. And then we could just walk down the rest of the way without making any changes. So let's go ahead and uh, see what it looks like. So it looks pretty good. So we can go ahead and start the, the export process. So we're going to go ahead and uh, export. And we're also going to change the, the video settings of 1920 by 1080 because this is no longer a, a 4K 360 video. And we'll see what it looks like once it's done exporting as a video. And here is the, the result. So as you can see, we're going up the stairs and it is slowly panning all the way up until we get to this top here. And then we're gonna go back to a normal view. And then once it hits the top of the stairs, it hits our keyframe, which slowly transitions into a little planet tiny planet effect and then transitions back to a normal view as we go down the stairs. So that's it. That's a nice small example of uh, the panning feature as well as a little planet, small planet um, effect onto your video. And that is it.